Last question. Uh, just a practical question about Dr. Haberman's presentation about um, marginal zone. Um, with respect to the slide you put up, um, the question you asked us had to do with FDA approval, approved agents, and it did include um, a combination of rituximab and uh, lenalidomide. Um, but yet your conclusion, I believe, do you feel that the statistics with respect to the um, marginal zone outcomes with placebo rituxan having been better than um, the combination uh, as being a better outcome using no, just rituxan no, alone? In, in follicular lymphoma, they're better in margin. Well, well, John, do you in marginal zone, they're not. Yeah. Or do you want to comment? Well, so, I mean, very briefly, so the question is around in the uh, AUGMENT trial, the marginal zone lymphoma subgroup. Um, you could look at that different ways. You could say it was underpowered and there was a small uh, number of marginals on patients, relatively speaking, and there was no difference, and therefore um, it's not valuable. Um, you could argue it that the response rates were higher, um, it was an underpowered study to look at PFS in that subgroup, and that there are other data from the MAGNIFY trial suggesting that there could be value in marginal zones. So um, I think you could look at that in two different ways. And um, uh, you know, I think the FDA looked at it in the way that led to it being approved. Um, but I, I think there are still um, points that one could make in this regard, as I think you're getting at, and Tom got it. Okay, thank you. Yeah.